Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Ladies and gentlemen, we up in here. One, two, one, two. We getting it right. town man if y'all don't get in here and support this entire movement this whole gangster movement if y'all don't get in here and show love and appreciation for what's about to take place come on man y'all gotta stop playing reindeer games we about to present some life-changing game up in here You don't get game without giving up skin. You got to put some skin in the game, man. We about to go in in six minutes. Both them boys didn't want to show up, but we still got to do this topic. We here, so we yeah.
Ladies and gentlemen, don't get it twisted. The first mansion show ever to go live on VOR Radio. You not knowing? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I got to give myself a round of applause. <laughs> we, man, we, we the future, dog. Listen, we are the future, and I'm going to tell you why. All these kids, all these youngsters, everybody on the internet looking for the content we create. You in the dig? Everybody on YouTube. I remember back in the day when I was a kid, we had Fantasy Island, we had The Incredible Hulk, we had The Jeffersons, we had Good Times, we had Fred Sanford, we had a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. But the internet is taking over. Today is the inaugural, the first launching of the Voice of Reason radio station. They done gave me my own radio station. <laughs> my man. What? My man. You done it dig? Hey, congratulations to everybody in the chat room. I want to say thank you all for riding with me. VOR radio is live. I'm so turned up right now, I can't even talk. But you already know it's Wednesday, 5 to 7 p.m. We do mansions where men build palatial estates with mind power. Mm. Mm. Corey Holcomb is on his way. Cool. Cool. OG Bobby is coming through. My homeboy is in the house right now. All these are my homies. What am I talking about? <laughs> these are all homies right here. Let me just introduce everybody before I get to my normal spiel. Let me turn the camera so everybody can see who's in the building. Immediately to my left is the homeboy. And I've grown to love this nigga right here. Come on. Let me tell you why I love this nigga. Because he'll fight. (laughs) He will fight. He ain't never been taller or lighter than that. And he grew up in St. Louis. If he ain't nice with them things, ain't nobody. I so love this brother right here, man. He good people, man. Let's my man. And he got a show here called 31 Cents. It too will be going live on VOR Radio. Let me yeah, just yeah. y'all know who he is, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, the big homie, Guy Tory. Yes, sir. Yo, yo, it's Guy Tori in the place to be. Got kicked out of Trump University. What up, what up, what up, fellas? Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. What's going on, baby? Yeah, represent the 31 Cent Show, man, you know. One of the baddest, newest shows out, to be honest. It's me and three young ladies. Three dimes to the penny because I ain't worth a damn dime. <laughs> so that's why it's 31 cents. We, uh, we, we the show that uh, we go with the flow. We say the shit you can't say on regular radio. You know, we got three beautiful young ladies who are smart. The St. Atlanta housewives, basketball wives. Not that their ladies are not smart. It's just that we make sure we go the opposite way. We have that set of black women and show that, that personality. That's but right. we have another side, too, that we like to show. They're a dime in the face, a dime in the waist, and a dime between the airspace. Yeah. You want to dig? I feel that. And then, yep. introduce our brother. Man, <laughs> look, this is your show. I walked in the door, was immediately humble. <laughs> Bro. No. Uh, y'all know how Morpheus found Neo. You ever wonder, you go, damn, that Jeff Brown got some 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 shit running around in his head. Well, where my wisdom started to grow beyond my intelligence was the day that I saw this man. Yeah, man. I saw him. I, I asked the creator to tell to our me community. the truth. Something wrong about what my grandmama had been saying. And I looked on television, mm-hmm. and here was this brother preaching out of this book yes. that I had read twice. Right. I've read the Bible twice like a book. I've never heard anybody. I read it in Braille before. <laughs> you stupid. I've never heard anybody breaking it down like this. When I tell you that this man on his own yes. has saved brothers' lives, yes. turned them around. W- woke a lot of brothers up too. Woke a lot, a gang of man, not just me. I'm humbled in his presence. Brother Minister Tony Mom. Wow. The, the, the only, <laughs> the one, the only. Mom. The leader of the Nation of Islam on the West Coast. Is that correct, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, Cousins sir. of Steve Wilson. Yeah. Everything west of the Mississippi. Yes. Yep. Oh, oh, see, 
forgive me. Yes, <laughs> one of the sharpest <laughs> dressed brothers. Uh, man, yeah. ever. I never seen him man sleep looking. on his on his gear. Now you, well, you Jeff, on the other hand. Yes, I uh, would do. Well, <laughs> you, you on Island Radio with that shirt you got on right now, bro. Don't brother know. Tony, it ain't that brother Tony can't help you move because he's not able. Oh, he's brother able. Tony can't help you move because he don't own no jeans. <laughs> <laughs> he got no jeans. He can't help you move with no suit. I'm a I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fool, y'all. All right, so and then I'm gonna introduce this one. The boy's hard is as big as Texas. Oh, he's a to me. He's one of those fathers that you take notes from. Wow. You know dig? You know, he one of those fathers. You look at him, deal with his kids, and you go, okay, I'm going to put that in the little daddy journal. I'm going to use that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Wow. Mm-hmm. He's that guy. He's intelligent. You know, he's one of, and what I have what I saw him go through as a comic, s- smart ain't cool all the time. You know what I mean? A lot of people don't like smart. Gave Jeff an improper title. He's actually a comedian. Big Explain difference. Explain the difference. A comic says funny things. A comedian makes things funny. Wow. Thank you, brother. Now we Man. gonna find you a microphone because you ain't gonna be taking my. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Jeff Brown. Yeah, that's on Jeff Brown. Okay, we'll t- just scoot him. We'll scoot. Yeah, him. Jeff Brown scoot. is amazing, and he's been. I've been riding with Jeff Brown since 2007. Before mm-hmm. coffees yes, and cars were comics. Right. Uh, come on, man. Since 2007, correct? Come on, man. Yeah. Yeah. And I saw other comics hate on him. Yep. But what 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 locked me in the Jeff was mm. he was smarter than the comics that was hating on him. Yeah. Wow. I said, oh no, I got to roll with this motherfucker right well, thank here. Thank you, bro. <laughs> I tried to hate on him, but it didn't. It didn't work. It lasted like three stick. minutes. <laughs> you know what? You know what's required. Part of what's required for hatred to work is for the person intended to give a shit. Ah, uh, here we go. That's, okay, that's why it won't it won't stick. And that's your personality, judging by that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go. And here we go. V O R Radio is live, ladies and gentlemen. We in the building. You already know, as is commonplace for mansions, we have serious conversations that men all over the world are impacted by. We're gonna have a serious one today. I just got to shout out a couple of things. Total Package Energy. Yeah. The energy drink that I drink whenever I'm on the radio, man. It keeps me up. It keeps me alert. No sugars, no carbs, no jitters, no crashes. It was created by a brother out of the bay. Mm. Can it keep me up in other ways, dude? Yeah. Got a little yeah. Yohimbe sauce in it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a little, little Yohimbe pepper. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, hey, I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth, man. Again, bartering. Working with brothers. Yeah. You understand? Know we have got to get to that. Brother was training my son. I saw him drinking an energy drink. He said, man, I got some scientists that formulated this for me mm. to keep these kids being able to go through the regimen that I'm putting them through. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't impact their body. Okay. So, you know, pro guys drink it. You know, they ain't, get, they ain't failing no tests. Can we get the Lakers something? <laughs> you can't pour it on nobody's knee or nothing and right, right. It's not but, topical <laughs> But brothers Out of the Bay Area Total Package Energy Go to TotalPackageEnergy.com Let's move 10,000 cases today Because we have the power to do so yep. The other brand that I want to talk about Is Beal Sauce oh, yes, Brought ma'am. to me by Jeff Brown A fellow Marine yes, Correct? Yes Thank you for your service yes. Thank you brother Beal Sauce Company Veteran Black man Three different styles, Gunny Fire, Sergeant Sauce, and Schmuckatelli. And all good. Spell all Beal. Good. Beal! Like B-E- Bradley Beal. Like Beal Street. B-E- B-E- yeah. B-E-A-L-E. Yeah, no. yeah. Yes. Just let the listeners know what they listen. We know. know we know you on the Tom Joyner show. Hey, man. Tom Keep- Joyner Morning Show. Flat <laughs> <laughs> job. Right. Been up right. since 1.30 this morning already. <laughs> oh, my wow. God. Wow. Hey, I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you for coming through, man. Now. You already know the relationship dismount, how to stick the landing when exiting a toxic relationship. My 2015 critically acclaimed relationship workbook available on 
Amazon, three different formats, Kindle, Audible, as well as paperback. Go to Amazon.com, cash mob that right now. Also, get the follow-up. The Holographic Relationship is available in Kindle form on Amazon.com and my website, IamZoeWilliams.com, if you want a paperback. Now, let's move to the topic. People got came here for this ve- this version of mansions. Yes, yes. Today's topic, mm. very important. What's mm. beef? Mm. An in depth look into the problems black men face when mismanaging conflict between themselves. Mm. Mm, I got a lot of beef. I got a whole farm. Shit. <laughs> How do we de-escalate? Do we know how to de-escalate? I mean, how do we make it into an impossible burger? <laughs> Beyond meat. Beyond beef. Beyond beef. <laughs> impossible beef. I brought in some brothers today because I know y'all can speak at length. We had two brothers that are associated. Oh, <laughs> Come on in here, Corey, to go your seat right there, man. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just tuning in to the VOR Radio, the inaugural launch. A person you don't want to have beef with is Corey Holcomb. <laughs> <laughs> you got beef with this brother, you in trouble. <laughs> on, baby. I'll tell you right now. So again, let me just hip y'all to the topic, man, because it's on and cracking right now. What's beef? An in-depth look at the problems black men face when mismanaging conflict amongst themselves how should black men right resolve disputes well, i know how between I've done themselves I, I i i was here for that uh, <laughs> uh in what ways do black men respond to conflict with each other as women do <laughs> well we don't have a purse to, we don't have a purse to grab to beat somebody up what does it mean to be over emotional? What justifies an aggressive response? What's too small? What's what's adequate? A lot of people don't know. The number to dial is 323 230 4610. How does poor conflict management skills among black men keep our communities fractured? Corey Holcomb has just entered the game. We got the homeboy in the house. Fucking Guy Tory, homeboy Jeff Brown, and the minister. Mm, The one and only. The representative of the one and only. Minister Lewis Park. Man, what? Is in the building. The West Coast represent. I, I went to the mosque once. And the brother saw me. He said, Zoe, you on the list. You might as well come on in now. <laughs> uh, you on the list now, Zoe. Uh, get in here. <laughs> uh, uh, Zoe, he I hate to you correct you. <laughs> I hate to correct you, but I'm going to have to correct you as I was corrected earlier. Uh, that would be everything west of the Mississippi, bro. Not just the west coast. Yeah. That's yeah. the west. Facts. That's See, oh, that's, that's the why they call discussing. y'all. That's where the Midwest is what they is the Midwest. That's still West. That's us. It's still halfway, halfway through the West. West. Through the West. So back to the minister. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to us, brother. What are our major issues that keep us in conflict with each other? Yeah. Well, first of all, th- thank you for even asking that kind of question because Oftentimes we think it's other people, it's another brother. Mm-hmm. But the biggest problem with the black man is his hatred for himself. Uh-oh. Preach. See, it's that demon. So if he hates himself, then no one else stands a chance. So to me, we got to first learn to love me, myself as a black man, myself as a human being. And then I have to atone with myself because. Again, all of us, every one of us in here, the hardest mastery is self-mastery. Mm. Mm. My biggest enemy is not a white man. It's not a red man. It's not a yellow man. My biggest enemy was Minister Tony, who's now Minister Abdul Malik, mm-hmm. is mastering myself. Mm-hmm. I got conflicts with me. See? So if I can kill my beast and kill the devils within... You having a problem with me don't bother me because a clean heart can't be hurt. 
Mm. 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 Jeff Most Brown. of the time, we'll miss targets. Mm-hmm. And I've learned, uh, dear brother, that many of us, as a child, when you got beat by your mother, anyone who has ever dominated you mm. in a physical way, there's an aspect of you that had to go in agreement with that just to survive it. So you become the person who dominated you. So these little demons is living inside of our head. Then you made a prime thought agreement. You said no one else will never do that to me again. So what did you remember? You remember the way that person smelled, the way that person looked. Mm. Mm-hmm. You remember the atmosphere. So anyone else that come at you like that, they're reminding you of someone who treated you badly Earlier in your life So the person who's in front of you now Is a missed target So are you mm. saying you're reacting to the past mm. Or unresolved traumatic Absolutely. experiences sure. Absolutely That's a part of it That's me because I hold grudges man And that's what I do <laughs> I I'm still mad at the mm. doctor who slapped my ass and I was burning <laughs> I find that mother There's going to be some repercussions and consequences. <laughs> I don't know how we going to get to this No so, but, but, but that's a part of it Which leads dear brother you know, to to our self hatred, mm-hmm. and this is why we should read anything that's authentic about how this Caucasian made us a slave. The breaking of the black man mm. in slavery, brother. Do you mm. know that trauma from four hundred years ago? If you beat a human being for ten years and then twenty years, your body develop a cell that house that trauma. Mm-hmm. Now you're passing that trauma down from generation mm. to generation. Mm. So we are born with the fear of yes. white people and don't even know why. Mm-hmm. You guys should check out the work of Dr. Joy DeGru, yeah. post-traumatic slave disorder. Absolutely. Yeah. And she speaks to that, man. It's very yeah. powerful work. Real talk. So again, black men are reacting to an unresolved traumatic experience when we have disagreements with each other. Absolutely. Sure. Oh. So how do we reconcile that? You said knowledge of self, but if you can't see self, how can you then mine the knowledge from the self? Well, for me, as Minister Tony Muhammad Abdul Malik now, you know, one thing you have to do, it it took me when Minister Farrakhan sent me here 25 years ago. He said, brother, I'm sending you to a place where it's a city of masqueraders because I'm from Georgia. Mm. He said, when the streets, he said, don't let me catch you in Hollywood. Go and win the streets. He said, because those young brothers in Los Angeles that's growing up in all of this gang warfare, he said, this is actually the best generation we've ever produced. They just don't have guidance. Mm. And number two, they don't trust. See, so if you can win their trust, they'll accept your guidance. Wow. So when I first came to L.A., brother, I mean, going into the hood ain't nothing easy. Mm. They didn't trust nobody. I would go to the rolling 60s neighborhood, man. They'd be like, get the fuck out of here. Mm. They didn't care nothing about nothing. But I sit there and took their insults because as long as you're talking, it's okay. Right. You're not going to touch me. Right. But I understand because Jesus said it like this. All that came before me was robbers and thieves. So the, the streets don't want no tell me religion. They want to show me. Mm. So I had to show that I'm ready to go through your insults, even all the way down to your guns being drawn. Mm. And after a period of time, I won their trust. Mm. So as a result of winning their trust, now they would allow me to arbitrate their differences. Mm. Because number one, they know I'm going to be fair. I'm not going to run from one hood to the next Mm -hmm. because I ain't trying to be your damn friend. I'm trying to be your brother. Mm. Mm. And brotherhood should trump neighborhood. It has to, particularly if the brotherhood is rooted in truth. Man, Man, Jeff Brown, Corey Holcomb, Guy Tory, get in here. Reza Islam and Bobby G just joined us. It's about to get crazy. Mansions, how do black men... Manage conflict that we have within each other, between each other. I think I'm. A, I, I I I got to look at this from another place. 
the clock and what's coming. Uh, where we are in time at this time is, is by no mistake that this grand change, this grand shift that mm-hmm. the white man finds himself eating himself. We, th- this place that we are at, it's entirely time out for brothers to one another deal with you stepped on my foot. I'm finna go pop the trunk. Bruh, look what's coming. Look outside. If martial law was imposed tomorrow, who here would be shocked? Mm. That's where we are. Mm. So if you cannot find the energy, if 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 if, if people were, if white folks start turning into zombies, think about this. Yeah, if white if white folks start, <laughs> they already are. You stupid. If they start turning literally, would you have a problem with your uncle that owe you some money then? Mm. Would you have a problem with a brother who cut you off in traffic then if a zombie was trying to eat your face? Well, guess what? This system is trying to eat you. Not you behind bars. We got jobs for you. We got jobs. We got you doing. Mm. This system is literally dining on black flesh right now. And if you can't if if you can't let that be enough to Put you in this place where I will not see a sister disrespected in front of me. I don't give a shit whether I know her or not. Excuse my language. I don't give so a right, shit. Soldier. If it, uh, if I know her or not, uh, if I see a sister in some kind of altercation with a man of another color. Now, if that's her man uh, that and he's smacking her up, I ain't getting in that because this ain't the first time she got an ass whipped right here. In, in but Jack partner. Brown, I hear what you're saying. But we have to uproot the mentality that I, I believe lives in the mind of a great majority of us as men. Sure. It's a lot of us striving to get to the table where we're on the menu. We want a place at the table. Right. Where they we're being eaten. Where we're being eaten. Hmm. Which means you, in order to, to fill yourself, in order to uh, socially fill yourself and your bank account, you're going to have to eat another brother. That's my point. Because that's what's on the menu here. So how do we break that cycle, Guy Tory, Corey Holcomb? So you want me to go? Like, Jump right in, in, see? No, I'm just saying, like, I, I really believe that in this country, something that we could do, because we always try to uh, talk about what's going on and everything, but I really think in this country we could organize something mm. sort of like a rite of passage mm. yes. for Young men that's, in my opinion, right at 13 through 17, where they are taught things that, like, where I'm from, it's this word they call guerrilla hustle, where everything, you just get it as you go. You ain't no telling how it's coming. Mm-hmm. Most of the time as black men, we have guerrilla learning. Mm-hmm. And by the time we late 40s, 50s, that's when we realize how reckless we've been and we start to calm down. But if we had programs that I think can be set up by men who have the reputation, we have to approve these type of whatever. If we're going to turn it into a center or whatever, it has to be ran by somebody who has the, the real intentions that are well by the kids. Like, for example, uh, Brother Steve Harvey has something that he was mentoring young boys or something yeah, yeah, like right. that. Down, down in Texas, I, I went there. I don't think that he's qualified to be mentoring young boys, and that's not a diss to him. It's just the way he goes about things and his rep. Here, here. I mean, what's out there about you, it means something. What you've done, everything mm-hmm. you do, it means something. And it takes away from who you are if a lot of things you do are selfish. Mm-hmm. And you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? We need to get the men who have proven themselves to right. be intent, have good intentions by us as right. a people and employ them to work some type of thing like in summer school or whatever. People, they go for a couple of weeks and they learn something in summer school. We need to have these type of programs especially in the big cities all over the nation by men who have put in the work and it's proven not somebody who have the income to do it man i love it bobby g bobby g i'm gonna come to you yeah i'm gonna come to you guy bobby g get yours in real quick for 30 years um i've worked with 
the great Jim Brown's American program and such a curriculum that already existed. There are some things that have happened in the last few years that brought into question Jim's integrity. But one thing that cannot be refuted is we affect the change in the lives of people in conjunction with Brother uh, Tony Muhammad and other brothers. Mm -hmm. A lot of the brothers have been through the curriculum. That's not the only program. What I'm saying is we have to look back at what has worked over the history of our culture uh -huh. and become rooted once again in those successful principle, uh -huh. principles. Uh -huh. I, well, you know, I, Corey said something I want to, I kind of want to push back on a little bit. Uh, he said, you know, young men at 13. I think in this, that was true when we were growing up. I think now kids are developing so much quicker now because Boy. the internet, we need to probably start at 10. Nine. Like when you're 13, you leaving grammar school. Go ahead, get it, get on when the mic. When you're 13, you leave grammar school and you going like to high school a lot of times. And what happens in high school is different than grammar school. You in more danger, in my in my opinion. That's that's why I just now, I agree with you. Age. I just think we need well, to whatever age it is. Let's let's do something where these right. kids got something to think about. So when they go into manhood, they just not learning the hard way. I, th right. I, th I think right. they need to get a run and start before they go into. So I would say. So you saying like pre K? Yeah. T well, no, ten. Uh, well, ten. No, ten. Uh, yeah. Ten years old, I think. And you know, that's when you you get into double digits and things like that. And I think you know, I think it also has to start with when you said you know, uh, not loving ourselves. I'm I'm working on you know something right now where it being unapologetically black. And what mm -hmm. I mean by that is, why does gold teeth and gold chains and other stuff have to be ghetto? Mm. Why can't it be just be uh, an expression of of, of the artistic uh, right. flavor that we have? Why does why does that have to be ghetto? What because a white man don't do it? Mm. Who, who says that's ghetto? If you want right. to wear a do rag out, mm. so who says that? Why can't it just who be our fashion choice? Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying so. I, I'm fi I just turned fifty, right? Right. And I was thinking today. I said I need, I would love to have like to have a re a hard restart on my life mm. and go back over and do. You know, at 50, do 50% 50 of the things I did that was bad. Mm. I ain't got to drink the whole bottle of alcohol. But drink some of it. Just drink some of it. <laughs> but there's some things I look back over my past and it's like, man, I, I really could have done some things differently. See, I always think life is like Tetris, which is my favorite video game. Sure. Because it, yeah. Tetris is, you, 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 the shapes that come down, you clearly can't choose them. You have to work with it. You have to turn it and move it and make it fit. The object mm. is to complete a straight line. And if you just put pieces anywhere... By the time you get to the top, it's game over. You look back over and see all the holes that that's in that game. You could have turned it this way. I could have took this situation and moved it that way. I could have done this situation a little better. And then, bam, you know, you would have mm -hmm. you, you'll play forever rather than game over. So we got to quit letting, you know, white America, corporate America, whatever you want to call it, uh, dictate who we are. Right. And quit calling each other ghetto. And that, that's ghetto. That's it. Well, no, no, no. We're just artistic. Right. Corey? Jump in there. Get but, but who mic? says ghetto is wrong, though? That's what I'm saying. I'm unapologetically ghetto. What makes you bad <laughs> is if you don't have no principles. If you're going around here doing slick stuff, and then when you try to act like, oh, I'm about something because it's a convenient time to act like something about, like you're about something, I just want everybody to know. Somebody, most of the time, somebody is always watching you. Mm. So when you jump dignity and when you start acting like you about something, it's somebody in the room like, yeah, oh, whatever. Right. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I know you, fool. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And but Facts. Facts. And, and we want to get Reza in here, and then Brother Tona. Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me, Abdul. Malik, yes, sir. Brother, brother Abdul, Abdul. Yes, Malik, brother I got Abdul to get Malik. it right yes, now. Yes, Reza, get up in here, man. Contribute to this. Oh man, well, first of all, I'm, I'm just honored again to be among some of those with wisdom, and I'm always, always willing to accept not only correction but wisdom from all of you. So don't get mad if I repeat something that you've already said. That's all right, because brother. I, Come on, that's what I do. I just adopt the truth from my brothers, and of course, I'm honored to be standing next to my mentor, Minister Abdul Malik Saeed Muhammad. Uh, first thing that I do as it pertains to this generation with breaking the disagreements is we do not focus on nor do we duplicate the disagreements that our elders had with one another. This generation, for me, I'm, I'm speaking on just for me, I don't take that on if this brother had a disagreement with this brother. I don't take that on in this generation because we have to look at exactly what is happening today. Mm -hmm. What's happening today is if you handled that disagreement earlier, we would have had a better start today in this mm. generation. Mm. If you would have handled some of your squabbles and petty differences earlier, maybe we would have had a better jump start today. So because of that, I'm looking at what the past did 
and how our condition is in the condition that it's in now and what it is that we can't do and what it is we can do. So we basically take the meat, spit out the bones. We take the good, leave the bad. And I don't disrespect any of my elders. I don't do that, but I take exactly what they did that was successful and duplicate it for this generation because as each and every one of you were saying, we don't have that much time and we are in the age of information. So we get information quick. And a lot of us don't know at times if it's true or not, because some of the people who are giving us this information are people who we actually look up to. Mm. Like Brother Corey said, but they're not legitimate. They just have money. And that look grabs that. our attention. Look at that. Go in. Go they in. They don't have intelligence. They have money. They don't have real it's wisdom. Integrity. They have money. And they, they, have they don't status. have integrity. <laughs> they they have got status. money. They have status. Yeah. Which, they, which they were given, which can be taken away easily. Yeah. So we have to look at, as Brother said, who is legitimate? Who has been doing the work? Who actually has had the boots on the ground? Who has done the work to help the people, uplift the community, et cetera, et cetera? Those are the ones who we have to look up to. And so that is who I study. But, of course, again, I don't disrespect any of our elders. I don't disrespect any of our brothers who have done something, even though they might be out of their mind <laughs> to a degree, because some are. But I still look at the good that they've done and take that, acknowledge that, and then implement that for this generation so that we don't duplicate the same mistakes because we don't have as much time now as we did back then. Jeff Brown, Bobby. Uh, Y'all can share. It's all good. A couple things. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have that elderly look when you did that. <laughs> <laughs> it's that shirt. It's that shirt. Shirt, the glasses. Okay. <laughs> anyway, speaking of that, no, speaking of that, when it comes to you were talking about uh, uh, conflict resolution amongst brothers. Whenever I speak to cats younger than me, the first thing I say is I'm sorry because this shit you going through, the way you are raised, the things that that I don't like about you, the fact that you wear your pants that way. Somebody did or didn't teach you, and that falls on niggas born in 1965, and that's me. Mm -hmm. Somebody smoked that crack. Mm. Somebody did it. Sure, somebody dropped it off, but somebody did it. Somebody put your mind, somebody left you to where your mind was left bare to these fucking wolves that came and got it. And I have to apologize for that. Right. Second. Well, brother, reasons out. I smoked some incredibly good shit before I came in here. What was the, you was talking about? Uh, Let me uh, see. Respecting your elders, yes, and you said one more thing don't was take on their don't, take on their don't. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, eat the meat, spit out the bones. Yes, um, the good, lead the yeah, take the good, leave the bad. I can't, in good consciousness, uh, speak to brothers from any avuncular position because of what I, my generation. Nigga, I was in the club. I wasn't protesting shit. I maybe I had the Africa patch when Public Enemy was out, but that was about it. I didn't so I can't just come to you from you need to do this and you need to do that. All I can do is just lay bare my fuck ups. Here's where I did this wrong. Here's what I didn't know. Here's how you buy a car. Here's how you do your finances. Here are my strengths. How you balance your checkbook. How to balance a yes. And to, to, to speak on when, when you were speaking on Brother Bobby, how uh, 10 is too late. I think from as early as we can get them to as late as we can get them, we need to reach what well, we're in crisis. I Ain't think we start with them when they are able to pay attention. Sure. Well, some children pay attention earlier yes. than others. Yeah, they do. Yes. You see, understand? That. So if he five years old and he's attentive. We got, to, we got to go to work To the sisters out there that don't, <laughs> you know? To the sisters out there And I'll, I'll pass the mic To the sisters out here Who do not have this Almost no one has this I say this all the time If you need a male influence In your son's life Go to the barber shop Talk to the owner mm. And ask him How much How much time is he willing to give your son To let your son Stand around in there And sweep up hair on his spare time to be in the presence of other black lions you got to get your son around positive black men and, and i want to say this too that big sean is part of a program uh rapper big sean is part of a program called men of courage i believe i think it's out of detroit and they're they're going around and hold these salons where they're mentoring uh mm -hmm. young black men no women are allowed in there uh, it, because it's it's, it's 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 the men that needs to have that foundation a little bit stronger than than, than what we've had. And the thing about it is, they bring like Corey was saying, they bring guys who are being successful in different parts of 
uh, the industry, not just entertainment, but finance and and creativity and and uh, um, um, engineering and all that stuff. So it's not just celebrities. Right. It's also men who have done done things in the community. Right. Bobby. In the, uh, Corey and then the minister And we're going to start more questions When Go. I came to uh, L.A. In the, in the late 80s uh, I had the opportunity to work with Dr. Ian Palmer At the Marcus Garvey School And at that time the nation was providing mm-hmm. security The reason I bring that up And the age factor I saw little black babies Two, three years old Full of just confidence Because of what they were being taught And the environment that they were in we had a waiting list of over 500 kids. Prop 174 was on the table right mm-hmm. there. And our own people did not have the sophistication to understand how important it was to take our tax dollars and educate our children. So when we start talking about that age thing, I don't think there's no limit in terms of too young or too old. But the focus should be the earlier, the better. Right. Well, you know, I, I have to say this. That we've had the right examples in front of us all the time. It's just that because the slave master don't accept accept those good examples, and you can't show me. I'm sorry. Show me another organization that makes more responsible men than the Nation of Islam under Minister Farrakhan. There, there is show none. Me one. There is none. none. No, listen. Listen, listen at this. Can't can't no, listen. You, can't nobody argue that. And look, nobody. look, and that's what I love about Bobby, and that's what I love about Jim. You know, you take an aspect of what we do and you make a program out of it. Who cares? You go to one of our schools, Muhammad University of Islam. I can bring a three-year-old in here that'll run circles around you. With history and the discipline on that little boy will blow you away. Mm-hmm. See, we have this Western way of we're raising our children, letting them do anything. Goo goo got what the hell is that? <laughs> you could teach your baby while it's in the womb. Keep yes, going. Sir. Keep going. Yes, sir. You don't have to wait till the child get here. The child already know it's predestined to hell. Yes, sir. Right. But right. we run can haves on our children. <laughs> what I mean by can have. They have an idea that they have a natural inkling to incline towards some mathematics, science, music. They're naturally inclined. But because we have false purposes and failed purposes in our life. Mm. You know, I'm a failed football player. I wanted to play pro. Keep going. Well, I impose my crap on my son. Mm. Mm. Living vicariously. You see, right. Yes. Well, he wanted to do music. Mm-hmm. I'm calling that because I wanted him to fulfill my NFL dream. Look at that. I'm calling that. That's faggot stuff. Mm. But that was his natural inclination. So I ran a can have on him. Ooh. Ouch. I want to be this. You ain't going to be nothing. Every time I said that and I have authority, at some point, he goes in agreement with that. Mm. See? Something so that's not in alignment right. with his natural self. Go ahead. In the, in the Japanese culture, they put their children in a room with all kinds of shapes and forms and mathematics, and they watch what that baby crawl to. Yes, sir. If that baby crawl in this direction to music, they know that child is inclined to music. If it crawls this way to objects, they know that this child is inclined to want to do things with their hand. Mm. All you got to do is watch that child. It's a god. Mm. Yeah. They're crawling around. they discovering, putting stuff in their mouth. Yeah, they're pure. Mm-hmm. Right, and they're pure. They're purer than we are. They're more real. Yeah, that's mm. right. That's right. Because, because all the things that we end up being are learned behaviors. So right. if we can learn the bad behaviors, why not start early? Come on, Chief. And learn the good so behaviors. By, and like you said, Bobby, by the time they six, they're ruined. Mm. Ruined. Watching us, they ruined. Growing up <laughs> backwards. In a bunch of kids. Right. Growing up right. backwards. Starting and, pure and, and, so, right. and ending corrupt. It, it's Keep like going. It's like this thing, and it, it just blows me away even, you know, because all of us, every human being heart yearns towards meeting its creator. I don't care what name you call the God by. That's what you yearn. Right. Every human being is born to help. And so when I walk in a hood with bangers banging mm-hmm. and all I got on is a suit and a bow tie and the brothers stop and call me brother, it blows me away. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. We mm-hmm. carry no weapons. Mm-hmm. The whole Nipsey Hustle fiasco. Mm-hmm. The mayor called me after a riot started. I show up with a hundred brothers and the bangers just got in line, did everything we asked them to do. No weapons, no nothing. I asked him, brother, why did y'all do that? Mm. Like you said, it's respect. Mm. It's the integrity. Mm-hmm. 
we know y'all for real. That's right. Because I have bloods and crypts. So we, like you say, we don't take them off and clean them up. We clean them up right in the ghetto, right in front of their homies. Right. Keep going. That's right. You man. see, and so I'm not saying, no, I'm not saying everybody become no Muslim. No, miss me with that. Mm -hmm. But come and ask us why you, you know, I'm not, if, if, if guy, if you are good at cryptocurrency or you're good at gold, I'm not going to go and try to figure that out on my own. How about that? I'm yeah, coming to you. I'm coming to the leader in that field. Right. <laughs> and right. I'm conceding to his leadership. And that's what our problem field. is, man. We, we don't trust. Right, him. right. Because, because look, the white man activated right. that emotion called envy. Mm. It is the ugliest emotion that a human being can have in their life, in their existence. Jealousy is one thing, but envy is another. That's what got Nipsey killed. Come on. See? So, and, and I watched that in the whole gang intervention. You know, if I can speak and I run, your crowd is happy, somebody is sitting there angry about that. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Corey, jump angry in here. Because these cats want to yeah. do something right. You couldn't get them to do nothing wrong. Now wow. you angry about wow. that. Wow. See, it's like Jim, Brown, his program. I would go and, and dust that off. It works. We got the programs that work. We just got to stop letting people tell us who we can get with and who we can't get right, with. Right. Come on now. That's the problem. Yes, sir. See? The entertainers. I mean, look, we got the money. We don't need nothing. We just need unity, chief. That's yeah. Right. And when the hood see us uniting, they're going to follow us. That's right. But unity is a byproduct of a, a, an awareness of self-worth. Right. An awareness of self-esteem. Right. An awareness of self-respect. Right. Now, if we don't have those things within, how then can we look at our brother without envy? Right. That's that's, that's it. That, well, well, Corey? When, 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 when he said about the nation of Islam, and I've said this before, um, I've never seen people conduct themselves like that. Or, I'm sorry, black people conduct themselves like that yeah. in America. And I travel a lot of places. I'm not some guy who's been to one or two states. I've been a lot of places. And I've seen a lot of black people get together and do things. But when, and I said this because I went to the last Savings Day. I have never seen black people organized like they are when you go to one of the functions that the Nation of Islam puts together. Ain't no joke. It is, it is no, no joke. It, 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 and it's not nothing that has to do with strong army. Right. It is no. respect right. has yeah. been taught to these people. Principles yeah. has been taught to these people. And I'm saying it's not impossible for other people to get this type of, um, I'll put it like this, um, this, this, this type of divine order. Divine order. We'll go with that. Right. But I'm saying like. If you really know anything about the nation of Islam, you have a bad reputation amongst the average. Mm. You get what yes. I'm saying? Yes. My mother, who is a nice person, kind to anybody, mm -hmm. but she don't know nothing about the nation of Islam. All she knows is what she heard from her friends. Oh, you got to watch them. Right. Yeah. They do this. They do that. Right. But as I got older right. yeah. and you become that dude who explores the forest. Yeah, <laughs> I found out. Oh, these are the ones that really got it together right, right. here. Right. Mama, all them people at your church sleeping with everybody. Right. The preacher sleeping Come with on, his man. deacons at your church. Yeah. Come on. And I'm not. I'm not making this up. Thank you. No, My mother church. The preacher is a very kind man, but. We men, we know. I'm yeah. going there. I'll be like, what is this? It's some right. Christmas. This is nonsense. This is foolishness. Yes. That's why it ain't got no power. Jeff Brown, Guy Tory, and Reza, then Bobby. Yeah. On a, uh, uh, to, to piggyback on what Corey said. You got to speak right into the mic, brother. Okay. You've been, you been doing this long, right. Right. Speak right into the mic, Jeff. Let's go. Okay. All right. <laughs> to walk alongside. To walk alongside. <laughs> yes, sir. To walk we learn together. It's called camaraderie. Yes, sir. We learn. Right. Iron sharp. Iron. Uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? First hand knowledge. If you live anywhere, in the city of Chicago, you got somebody in your family that you wish the rest of your family was like that had their lives directly turned around by Brother Minister Farrakhan. This is stuff I have seen first. I'm talking about cold, ruthless, 
killing gangster ass brothers that you turn around and go, wow, I have to follow that. Whenever you get in, whenever you get in line, whenever you get in line with the creator's truth, nothing, nothing can stand in front of that. The sun don't give a shit who it blind. Mm. When you get in line with the creator, when you are put through this fire, fire purifies. Mm -hmm. It burns off bad habits, bad friends. Uh, sure, yeah, bad. You stupid. You going you gonna burn off bad habits, bro, because mm -hmm. you ain't got no money for them. Mm -hmm. Your bad friends can't stick around because you ain't got no money for them. Mm -hmm. When you are put through this type of fire, and you allow it to purify you, you can come out on the other end one of two ways: broken and weakened, or whole and strong. Mm. We got to be that difference. And I got I got a question for everybody in this room. We all on the West Coast. We all here. And we are all, we, we super niggas in here. What can we do? What can we do? If, if nothing else, well, how can we help you? Or what can we do new that does this? Us. And, and, and let me, and I'm going to jump right to you, brother minister. Uh, but let me just say this, Jeff. That's a great idea. That idea to me represents the icing. Sure. The cake is why don't I want to do that? That's the cake. That's mm. the real problem. Why don't I want to look at guy and say, whatever the fuck guy doing, I got I'm his back down. and I'm going to make it happen. It's profound what you just said. Right. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> what you just said is profound. And to talk about this cake. Might make people mad. That's you know what, that, right? There we go, that brother. Talk about the cake. <laughs> yeah, go on, get to Tell the cake. about the cake. <laughs> <laughs> the week, the week show you they upset. Right. <laughs> well. Right. <laughs> right. I mean, it, look, it's it's like this this brother. Something happened that I've never seen happen right after the Nipsey Hustle murder. I, I've never seen the hoods come together. I mean, I've seen them reach, Bobby. We've seen them reach over the years. But every week now, I'm meeting with 40, 50, 60 different hoods. Yes, sir. I've had mothers to come by the mosque, at least nearly 200 mothers bringing their sons, giving them over to us. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. See, because like you say, it, it's our people are waking up. Mm -hmm. You know, it's written that we were going to wake up. And so... The nation have been constant, have been consistent. We've been dumped on by our open enemies. Mm -hmm. See, the open enemy yes. don't want, they don't want this kind of talk going on. That's mm -mm. real. Mm -mm. You know, because the Southern Poverty Law Center have said that the nation of Islam is a hate group. Yeah. Mm. But yet the mayor of this city called me on my cell phone and the chief of police begging me to go into ground zero where Nipsey was murdered because them brothers was getting ready to go to war with the police. Mm -hmm. And I'm mm -hmm. saying, you calling me, he said, he said, I'm going to be honest. I recorded it. He said, you are the nation. You're the only ones can do this. Police can't do it. And the chief of police no, gave no me respect. total control even of his men. Look at that. No respect. That's why they, the police can't do it because they don't have the respect that the nation has. And, and when Corey talked about, you know, You've never seen a group of men, black men, organized like that. Or when you walk, what Savers Day? It's right. an energy that you all have. Right. And it's it's a presence. It's everything they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, and, and, well, yeah. But, 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 yeah. It, it, but it's an energy. And that and is. the thing about it is, we all know right from wrong. Right. And even those gangbangers know what they're doing is wrong, but they know what you are doing is right. Right. And that's where the respect comes in. But it's by design yeah. from but, but what, even in our music. Right. When, you know, I ain't gonna lie, I grew up with Public Enemy, when they were speaking a lot of things I wasn't taught. Right. I didn't hear right. anywhere. And so so then when when Corporate America found out that they were actually teaching us, a Poor Righteous Teachers and ex clan right. was, was, was teaching us about our history, that's when they started taking them off radio. And right, took, and, right. And, that's when they, and that's and that's when they started. You right. know, when you take it off radio, that's right. then they start dr getting dropped from record labels. That's mm -hmm. right. So now it's like, oh, oh, wait a minute. They, we they, they're teaching. They're Teach talking God. to them. So Jeez. it's it's by design. Yeah. Let's let's get the elder in here real quick, Bobby. Yeah. Then of course Riza. And and the elder yeah. is is with a capital E, and it's just the numbers. Um, when I first came here, and I went up to Jim's house thirty years ago, the first picture you see when you walk in the foyer. Is Minister Louis Farrakhan. That's right. I, because I he stayed at Jim's house for almost a year. Yeah. And the reason I bring that up is, as an elder, one of the things that we can contribute 
you know, albeit all the mistakes that we have made, is the balance of the history of our people. There was a time when it didn't matter if you was a Baptist, or Episcopalian, or Muslim, whatever. You was a nigga. And you had to deal with that right away. And then you work out that other stuff later on. And I say that, that that's a part of the new formula is to reconvene the court mm. and change mm. public opinion mm. about who we are to yeah. each other. Because these perceived beasts are much bigger than any of us. And they came with a construct that has nothing to do with what we got to do right now. Mm-hmm. Right. See, and this is where I say, take all our entertainers and athletes. Overnight, we can change the reality of the hood. Yes, sir. Overnight. That they can reinvest. We can be a manufacturing. I mean, look, brother, I don't. Whatever is selling in the market, they're using black swag. Mm. Keep going. Nothing can sell keep without going. black swag. Come on. Come on. I don't care what Come it on. is. But if I keep you buffoonery. Yes. If keep I keep going. you talking about crap that don't mean that you'll never unite. Wait. And this is what I respect about my Take Jewish so brethren. Mm-hmm. See? They will never go against each other. Ever. That's right. And you have the JDL and the ADL. These, these are their bulldog groups. They are similar to the nation that if you're going to attack them, that group is going to step up. But mm-hmm. their entertainers fund them to make sure they don't want... For nothing. For nothing. We just, could we could change South Central. We could change Chicago overnight if yes, all the athletes just gave one percent mm, mm, of yes, mm. their earnings oh. to to a pool of money that they trust us with it because we'll put our life on the line and then we can leverage that mm-hmm. and say to Adidas and everybody, we want a joint venture deal with you. Look we at that. want you we ain't wearing your gear unless you got a manufacturing plant where we are partnering with you until such time we don't even need you. Look at that. Look they, at that. They distract us with Popeye's spicy chicken sandwich. And, and, then, right. and then there's that. Come Come on, man, Jump right in there, That's reason. The Jump right in, That's reason. The mayonnaise see, isn't that delicious. See, in case in point to what my brother minister was saying, exactly yeah. twenty five million in addition to the advertising that they already had. Popeye's got that for free due to Black Twitter and Black Instagram. Twenty five million dollars is an estimated enough amount of money to create twenty five black owned banks or at least one hundred and forty black owned credit unions. We could have literally come out of economic slavery overnight if all of the black owned businesses would have received small business loans from those credit unions and or those black owned banks. See, See, real simple. So that exact situation demonstrates that we blatantly have the power and the control to literally change the course of our destination in the future and our destiny. We simply need the guidance and unity. Okay. I'm I'm scared on Election Day. I'm scared on election day there's gonna be another chicken sandwich oh, yeah. coming out and oh, people gonna <laughs> not go to the polls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. I think they're testing the waters right now. Okay. Jeff Brown, Corey, yes. Bobby. Okay. Yes. You can't start with the people in the chicken line. You gotta ride by a McDonald's and go everybody in that line is sleep. You cannot start with the sleep. And you cannot wake a person who is pretending to be asleep. Woo! We gotta start with the people that's woke. With little simple shit like this. Again, I need the help of everybody in this room. I'm working on something right now called Uncle Jeff's Black Friday. Where I got two tour buses that I'm taking on Black Friday morning. I'm getting black folks that'll come at 5 in the morning to do Black Friday with black businesses. And black businesses only. And go from business to business to business spending their money with their own people. I need and I swear I need y'all. Corey, Bobby. I I, I really want to ask Riza and and the minister um a question. So you said what could have been done with this money? I want to ask you because I I don't know. Do you think if we put together things that deal with money, it can really help us? Because from Mm. what I see, Mm. no matter how much money we got, yeah. They still in control. They'll crash it. Before so that's what I'm asking. Thing. Like, how does the money help us? Like, like, because I, I don't know. Because I, I anything I, could be money. Right. I don't donate money to certain things. I look out for people like I might take the sure. people down there on Skid Row something. Sure. But I, I, I'm trying to figure out how do you help our people with money? Yeah. I don't know how. Yeah. Can I can I say something and then throw it back to the minister? Sure. Yeah, sure. yeah. Let me. First off, gangs born out of self-hate. Do we agree with that? Absolutely. Sure. Do we agree? Anybody? Gangs 
have evolved yeah, and turned into in, in in self hate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they they yeah, it turned into that. It didn't start they, out that way. Right. Yeah. So it evolved into that. That's why I changed it. All right. But right now, gangs are part of the standing army of white supremacy. You know why? They reflect it. Because they're at war with, with what they hate about themselves. Correct? We don't like each other. Ain't no, the only way we can extrapolate power in this society is by downing, crushing, killing, competing with one another. That's where we get power. I said it in Hidden Colors. You can't bang on white men. You can't. You can't. You can't. It's not enough of us gang banging to represent black people. But when I say, l listen, what, listen to the point that I'm trying to make, though, because that goes outside, too. When we get to the higher levels of blacks, most of them are willing to do deals, you know, dig, with the same people who oppress everybody else. That's why mm -hmm. I asked them that question. Yeah, right. See, he, he, here's the thing. Money is just a medium of exchange. Yeah. There we go. And and sometimes, brother, you know, you have to use money as a bait in the hook of the mouth of the person that's seeking knowledge. Mm -hmm. So, like right now, uh, I'm putting together a campus. Well, on this campus, we will be training the brothers who want to reach. Keep going. In the 17 construction trades. Oh, okay. See? So, no matter what their criminal record is... When we finish with this brother, he's going to be living on a campus. He's going to be in a dormitory. We're building a dormitory that holds about 250 brothers. Idiot. We're going to do a whole wraparound service with them, teaching them into a knowledge of themselves, number one, teaching them how to have the finances. So now, if I'm showing them, brother, do you know a plumber? A plumber on a major construction site is making six-figure salary. Mm -hmm. yes, See? In, in our institution, in our school, when this brother finished with us, he'll have a credit score over 700. He'll have at least a minimum of $50,000. Say he can go the entrepreneur route mm -hmm. or he can go into the construction trades or he'd be ready for a job. See, so money is just a medium of exchange. So what if we build in hotels? What if we're building restaurants? We're going to build a master bakery. And look, when you got an army, it's mm -hmm. our tax dollars. So if I show up at the city council with 5,000 homies, how you going to tell me you're not going to give us what we want? Listen to that. I can make demands on you now because I'm not bringing no buffoonery. We're bringing productive men. So the money is only a medium of exchange. Right. So now I'm showing this brother without selling dope, without pipping his woman. I'm going to show you, brother, how to make money without doing nothing negative. Mm. I, I, until, until I just talked to you and looked you in the eye. Right. I've never been compelled to give my hard-earned money to nothing. All right, I got it. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, if I was to give money to somebody, it would be the nation. Yeah, right. Come on, bro. And that's the truth. Like, I've, I've, I've watched what people do. I listen to what people say. Yeah. And then I watch them. That's and right. I be like, that's real. Yeah. You're not that's what you say. You right. what you do. I want right. you. Right. That's right. A, that's one gift I have. When people are talking, yeah, okay, I hear you. Then right. I watch you. Yeah, I mean, and, and that's see, what and I thought. That's, and, and that's what it with me. See, see with me, with with, with me in the next few months. With me, see, I, I love proving who I am because I want to show an athlete or an entertainer. I mean, you ain't God. You ain't God. You know, I know God is going to bless me. We're going to get the money mm -hmm. because money brings money. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to have to give it because look, brother, once you release it, it's just, money is energy. The, the best Move of us. When you release it to the right place, it comes back. Yes. I believe that. I believe that. 100%. It just come back and you come to our program, you, you, you seeing 3,000 homies who would have been out killing each other, driving nails, learning how to do plumbing, mm -hmm. learning how to code. We take the babies. We want to teach them coding at a young age because technology is the new route now. I've never seen that. But I, well, it's I, I about know you can happen. show me. I, I believe you can show okay, me. Okay, so, so, so Bobby, Bobby, Guy, Reza. Uh, this is a, a very important opportunity to just build off of existing opportunities. Um, the National Association of Minority Contractors, the president, Wendell Stimley, has been an associate of mine for over 20 years. <clears throat> In San Diego, and I want us to take a ride down there okay. on uh, on Market Street, the marketplace marketplace mm -hmm. down there. 
that was a community project. In addition to taxing, not so much taxing, but uh, engaging the athletes and the entertainers, mm-hmm. that project is, is, is a model of possibility because it, they took five and ten dollars from people in the southeast San Diego community to invest in what became a, a marketplace that, uh, that is flourishing now with anchor businesses like Wells Fargo and that kind of thing, but there are other black businesses in there. We use existing blueprints mm-hmm. and create new collaborations because what you're doing now and have been wanting to do probably for a long time, people like Wendell Stimmel have been doing his whole career. Right. So what we got to do now is merge these lanes right. and not reinvent the wheel when it's just a, a duplication that's, un- that's not necessary. So I'm, I'm pledging to get with you and, and, and get Wendell and start you know putting these pieces together because once you get people into situations where they get training, then you got to have places to put them to work. That's right. And so that's where the collaboration comes. Guy Tory. Yeah. Guy Tory. And, and, and then we're coming back to Corey and Reza. Okay. And then the thing about it is, like, what we're talking about, what we should be doing, other cultures been doing it. Right. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Politicians have been doing it. I just watched this documentary called The Family. Oh, yes. Sir. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and that, that lets you know <laughs> what's going on with America, but also that brotherhood that they had, that they have, mm. you know, and the same brotherhood the mafia has for each other, mm. that support, that, that, Let's, let's let's keep it in our community let's, and let's be silent about it amongst ourselves. We need to do that. Right. But it, it really does start with self and then it starts with trust. Mm-hmm. And then when we have when we trust each other cuz we've been conditioned not to trust each other by right. what that's that, that that's to me that's the case. Yes. Mm-hmm. We know that there's models of possibilities. We know that there are opportunities. We even got solutions on deck, but those solutions are really nothing if I hate me and no, thus and hate you. you. No, no. There is a reason you don't trust each other. There we and go. And if you're not going to talk about that, that's, that's what, what I want. You're wasting right. everybody time. Right. There is a there is it, I have solid reasoning through experience why <laughs> when the average person is talking to me, I'm looking at them like what? Looking what right you through want? your head. Right. What what, what is this? That's what I want to talk about. Why do I feel like every time somebody that I meet on the street says something more than hello and keep going, if they stop me, the first thing I do is say, okay, what is this? Right. And it's a reason for that. And that's what we need to talk about. And yes. I do it especially with my brothers, especially if they look like they got too much energy when they talking to me. <laughs> what do you that's, what we talk- that's what I want to get to. I don't want to get to the end of it. The end of it is the solutions. Oh, we could do this. We could do that. This we is a safe house. I want the, the people in here. We feel like it's all good. It's all right. good. But when you out there on them streets, and I'm Let's a go. night owl. When you walk around on them streets and somebody got more than hello to say to you, you looking at them like, what, what, what is this? What now, where did that come from? Ah. Real quickly, yes. The success component of that. Eradicates a lot of the things that we we, we perceive to be distrust and dislike whoa, whoa. because they, we just haven't seen that. Marcus Garvey Same famously way. said, "What we haven't seen success between brothers who done went the full route, not just started talking oh, shit, went to a few." Men. Well, they know I don't bullshit with you. Them type of men, they can hang together and and be. In a room where there's no stress, when you around real, they call them real motherfuckers or whatever. I guess I'm just saying, Alpha men of principles, men who have their reputation shows. Look, right. I don't see this guy trying to slick everybody he talked to. I don't see this guy trying to do something. Those people have something real. Now, if them people can get together and build some business wise, that's beautiful too. But I'm saying I've seen what people say we don't have. I've seen it a lot. But that's and it the comes antidote. from people being honest. Okay, that's the anti- to- Let me just real shortly. Yes, that sir. is the antidote. You've seen it, but our people haven't seen it. Okay. And we've talked about that all along. You are what you've been exposed to. We have to we have to multiply that and saturate our people with those uh, the evidence of success. Hey man, when I was growing up in Chicago, gangbangers could not you couldn't just say whatever you wanted to say. No. You would get dealt with. It was a code. Jeff, get in here. I'm, I'm I just was, telling you. I, I, Uncle Bobby, I love you, but that's not it. You cannot you cannot discuss what we haven't seen without discussing why we haven't seen it. And what that, do you mean? I mean that this system, this 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 place we find ourselves in is an experiment in lack consciousness. 
We have been put in a situation. You put any animal, if you put too many rats in a cage, they start to castrate one another. The males start to castrate one another. What you are watching, this distrust was created by a lack consciousness, taking resources purposely from these people and leaving them with no other recourse but to find ways to feed upon one another and to say that it's just because these people haven't seen it is not enough, bro. Well, let me expand on that, Jeff. Small strokes will fell a big oak. And sure. that's all I'm saying. <laughs> you know, we already know there what, we go. Oh, we, already the know what right done, we already know what they done well, done to us. Yeah, you got them saying. <laughs> no, no, that is how but, you address it. You say, look. Step by step, day by day, it's 24 hours in a day, seven sure. days in a week. So the less time we spend about what we already know is what they have done to us, the more time we can spend on reconstructing That's ourselves. Right. Can I say this, Bobby? And you're right. Here, here's something I did a few years ago. I went and I picked up about five bangers. And I said, come on, man, y'all going to go roll with me. So I took these five bangers. They're like, man, where you, where you going? We headed down to 110 North. So I get off on Broadway and I turn left. And when we got into this certain area, <laughs> a little, little I, said, I said, look up there. What does that say? And they looked up. They said, I said, Chinatown. I said, good. Now let's ride down the street. I said, read the signs on these buildings. They looking at the buildings. Mm -hmm. It's like, man, we can't read it. I said, why you can't read it? It's in Chinese. Well, what are they telling you? I said, but look, I said, but look in all the business. Is it full of people? They said, shit. Hell yeah, cuz. I said, all right. I said, we going to do something. I said, but look, I don't need y'all to act up. So I get out the car. We go in one of the Chinese businesses. I grab some goods. These people are waiting on everybody but me. The homie's like, that's that discrimination, nigga. I said, no, that ain't discrimination. I like that. What do you mean? They want you've been here the longest. I, love this. I mm. said, that's called self-preservation. They waiting on their own first. Yes. Mm. That's right. Let them land. So these are the, give you that lesson. These, these, oh, man. These, 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 gonna be good. These, <laughs> I, 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 these are the people they know support them every day. I'm only here for a moment and they know it. Come that's on. right. Yeah. So when they finally got to me, the guy said, made me help you. I said, no, I'm, I'm doing an experiment with these youngsters right here. <laughs> we walk out of the door. We standing right in the middle of time. I said, look to your right. Look to your left, homie. What do you see? I said, you see any soul food restaurants? No. Nah. I said, if you put one here, they wouldn't even come, come on. in. Come on. Wow. Damn. I believe that. Now, <laughs> now, now I put them in the car. We go back up to Cesar Cervez. We make a left. I said, well, now what does that sound trying to say? They said, damn, that say little Tokyo. Mm -hmm. I said, see, when we say separation, these people are separate in America. Right. They're in America, but they done separated. Right? Then we went to another area, it said Korea Town. Mm -hmm. Then I took them up to 101, it says little Taiwanese. I said, damn, when did they get one? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> then we went through Glendale, it says little Come Armenia. On. Yes, Come sir. On. Come on. Yes, sir. Then I took them back to the hood to the swap meet. We got out. We walked in the swap meet. I said, who's in here selling you your clothes? Selling you all uh, them people. Baseball all cattle. them people. He said, Asia. I said, now that's gangster. Right. Ooh. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to Mansions VOR radio. All around the world. <laughs> right. so that's gangster. You, you can wake people up with that information. Yeah, right. Listen, right. this this is the voice of reason. And that's what Bobby was saying, man. Wait, he wait. Let me, let me get I'm you. Sorry. Yeah, no, finish, finish your thought, brother. No. But Before see, I rap. So now that's what we're in the middle of doing now. And with the help of God, we're gonna prove it. So when we build it, then we're gonna meet with black Hollywood. We're gonna meet with the black athletes. Mm -hmm. Say, brother, come on and invest in this, man. Let's have where's our Africa town, our nation town? Come on. But we that. need y'all coming in here doing business. So the homies can see you instead of running up to Westwood. We ain't gonna let them extort you. You ain't got word. <laughs> but, but, I'm with that. But, but no, really. So now, now you all are investing. You're making money while you sleep, while your people working. Yes, all right. So look, I gotta take a quick break. Guy Tory has got to leave, but before he leaves, I want him to get his final thought in on this. But listen, you get I'm Dash gonna... Radio. We up on there right now. V O R Radio. Click the channel on your app and favorite it all right make it your favorite channel vor radio this is the first vor live broadcast today it has launched 
my own radio station, Voice of Reason Radio. Guy Tory, get it. Yes, man. I I, I want to stay. I'm gonna push my flight back, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've been up, I've been up since one thirty this morning, but I ain't been as woke <laughs> all day that I am right now. But uh, yeah, we're coming to. I'm bringing my show to Voice of Reasons Radio, Thirty One Cent Show. Thirty One Cent Show on black ladies, ladies who are smart and beautiful. Uh, I mean, I want to stay here all day and listen to y'all, man. I got a roll, man. Thank you for sharing. Everybody, thank you for sharing the wisdom and knowledge, man. I've learned today, and that's what we got to do. Learn something every day. I appreciate you, Zoe. I appreciate y'all, you brothers, man. Come on, man. And uh, no, bro. I'm out. All right. All right. Yeah. There it is, brother. Yeah. Hey, so let me do this really quickly. Let me wrap this up right there. Thank you, Guy Tory, for coming in here, brother. We gonna keep it cracking. Thirty one cents. Go, you go live now. Yeah, we, we live on Mondays at, at 9 o'clock. N- Mondays at 9 o'clock. P.M. P.M. Pacific Standard Time. There it is. So let me do this really quickly. Everybody in the chat room, we got over 2,300 people watching live. 2,300 people watching live. Everybody in here should hit the like button. You know dig? Everybody in here should hit the like button, the share button, the super chat button. Whatever the admins and mods are telling you to do in that chat room, go support all of these businesses. This information, this content is too hot. You can't find it anywhere in the game. VOR Radio is going to set the precedence for conscious conversation. You know what dig? Somebody done, somebody done, done, done gave me a shot. What? Look somebody up, did. Look up, huh? I don't know if they knew what they was uh, doing, but somebody did. They didn't realize get, you, Django. <laughs> they Come don't. On, right? <laughs> I don't think they understand the <laughs> I'm sorry. So we gonna get me and Minister uh, Abdul Malik. I'm gonna get it. I, I, that's right. I'm gonna get it right. Minister Abdul Malik Muhammad. We was talking about it earlier today. We got to get that youngster in here. He got to get a show. Here he is. Oh, yes, we got to get him oh, on the mic. Yeah. Man, this brother, oh, man. This that youngster got to get in here and speak to the he millennials. The millennials language. Yeah. He's brilliant. This yes. Y'all, I this him. one right here. <laughs> Message the, the to the millennials. <laughs> yes. The force is strong with him. And that's why I, I always try to bring him in to these kind of conversations. Because let me tell you something. We can wax old. We can wax mature. Yes, sir. But again, I know a, a old soul in a young person's body. I know what that, that feel like. Right. <laughs> That's him. <laughs> the end of dig. So my whole point of doing this show is we've got to attack the root problems. It's one thing to say, oh, it's self-hate. But where does the hate come from? It ain't just the white man. The white man is the impetus for it. But then there's other factors. If your family has adopted the standards of the people that hate you, that's going to produce envy. We mad at Jay-Z? No, Jay-Z is doing business the way the white man taught him to do business. Thank you. You got to be a mercenary in America if you want to be a billionaire, a millionaire, whatever heir. You got to be a mercenary. How the fuck we got... All these multinational corporations that don't give two shakes of a fat rat's ass about anybody's life. Hmm. Not just black. Anybody. We going to stay at this level on the backs and bones and carcasses of all you motherfuckers. Hmm. When you see Ted Turner talk about population control. We need to get the population of the planet down from 7 billion to what, 500 million? Mm-hmm. You know how many? That's billions of motherfuckers dead. Like period. That's billions of people dead. Period. So my question is, don't get mad at Jay-Z because he playing the, the game like a shark. He was taught by a poisonous, ravenous shark. The, the what we got to do is identify those. And recognize, because we those are the ones that's going to always go back to the matrix. They're going to always go back and ask the architect for a deal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what were you going to say, Corey? You go ahead, Corey. Jump in. You no, know, what I'm what I'm saying is, is kind of like against what you're saying, Zoe. No, that's all right. Go I ahead. I don't care what they are doing 
and prospering in if it ain't what's right. Don't make excuses for bullshit. When you bullshit, <laughs> when you bullshit, you might as well stand on it. Because he lost twice in the eyes of people who really know about life. When you messed with them people, you already against us. Ooh. Then when you sat at that table and tried to make a right out of it, that just nullified you being an ain't shit motherfucker to me. If I do something wrong, I'm going to stand on it. I'm going to say, well, I did it. I wanted it. I wanted that shit, so I took right. it. Right. God right. damn it. Now, what can we do from here? But, but see, I, I got it. But see, but see, you, you see what I'm saying? saying? And see, Corey, you right on it. Mm. But you, I'm you saying, actually, it you, still don't make it right. You right don't though. act but like you are doing front. But no, see, you can't never front. But what I'm saying is, when you step backwards on you and yours, you still did wrong. I don't care how much you come up. But, but Corey, you making my point. Okay. My point is, he was taught by this system to do business just like that. White men do business just like that. Me too, and I won't do let it. Me, let me tell you, <laughs> white men do business just like that. They will fuck you and apologize and then offer you an opportunity after fucking you and apologize. Can I tell you what's that, happening buddy. to me right now? This motherfucker, like, everybody, Corey, you don't never be on Netflix or all like that. Okay, yeah, it's a reason for that. I found another opportunity with another Caucasian male that smile with me and tell you all like that. This deal looked like it's going to fall apart because he tried to play me. The man, now this is what I want everybody to understand. They know how to talk with a smile. Mm -hmm. They know how to mm -hmm. make it sound like it's all good. What? But Corey, when buddy. they put Come that on, piece of paper Come in on, your man. face, Hello. is you going to read it and sign it? I'm here to tell you, most will read it and sign it. Most of them will just sign it. Right. But the majority will just sign it. But right. it was a devilish setup. Yeah. Where in the beginning they tell you, oh, mm -hmm. we about to produce something together. We yeah. know what that means. We out here. Come on. Right. But in the end, they want you to sign something where they your boss. Yeah. You need to sign up for work. That's life in America. Who has the courage to step away from it? I tell you what, it's a lot of things about me that ain't right, but at my age, I'm not finna do nothing that's gonna come make on, me bro. feel stupid every day I come to work. But watch this. How did he get ahead of me? And it's me doing everything. <laughs> but watch this, Corey. This watch age. this, Corey. I'm about to use your words. Last night, Corey said the man got goons. It said that Jay Z got goons. Who, who got goons? But in America, if you're a mercenary, you, you understand what I'm saying? A right. corporate mercenary. You need goons. Because you done fucked over everybody to get to where you are. Right. So you need protection. You're not a man of the people. Right. Ali could walk anywhere in the streets. Remember that story when they said they gave the gated man his car back who stole it? Oh, yeah. That's in Chicago. Oh, shit. This is the champ's car. Let me get this shit back to the right. champ. Do you understand what I'm saying? If you got to protect yourself because of your business dealings. To me, that's a white supremacist. He might be from Marcy Projects. He might be from Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. He might be an African American, mm -hmm. but he does business like a, like a multinational corporation, which is white supremacy at its finest. It Can we just agree there? Agree it ain't the it ain't the skin you in. It's the skin you under. Look at that. Go ahead, Jeff. You can't. Uh, uh, every brother ain't a brother just because of the skin that he is in. Do you know what you need to start a league? A ball, some grass, and some really fast niggas. That's it. That's it. You if Jay Z was money. really no, you if don't. It ain't Caucasian Bruh. money, it ain't gonna go. Need, you need some money. Now. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what. If okay, tell me how this don't work. I hit Powerball for three hundred million dollars. Me, I get a hundred and eighty after after taxes, and I say I'm gonna take ten percent and start with eighteen million dollars, and we gonna get together. And find some big fast brothers that will follow the following protocol. We're gonna do our shit. It's gonna be lower key. I don't have as much money to give you, but we are starting our shit. And then I'm gonna come to this brother and go, help me make this make sense. And find brothers, find find the black minds that count money, the f black minds that know about real estate, the black minds that know about marketing and promotion that are on this page with my money. It's going to be an $18 million donation, bro. 
Okay. You know, let's take off on let's take off on on what Corey just said, which is uh, a, a likelihood, with, with with the exception of a pragmatic approach. None of this stuff that we're talking about happens in a vacuum. We have to be again systemic and step by step about this. All right. For example, right here in, in Los Angeles, what Tony said earlier today. I'm sorry, Brother Malik. Yes, sir. Uh, it take a minute. Me too. Uh, <laughs> but, Abdul Malik. But what you said is something that I'm going to spend more energy on. And mm-hmm. that is, how do we go from what you've done, what others have done before you, to, to, to just bring that together mm-hmm. and make a mass and a ball out of it that just grows and grows? Because right here in the city right now, what he said is so profound. There's no place in the, the nation that there's more development going on that's right. with taxpayers' dollars. And I've said this before, and people look at me like, well, that's, that's the man's money. It's the man's money as long as you let him count it for you. Mm. It's coming out of your check. It's coming out of uh, every time you make a purchase in a store. And if you don't have enough sense to defend that money, then he's going to keep spending it the way he want to spend it. Because at some point, you got to be willing to kill and die about something. Oh. And yeah, what well, better than your own goddamn money? Yeah. Well, well, the, well, the, well, the, the wealth. Now, what of the I mean wicked. by money right. is capital, right. Uh, right. because right. in, in the, the sense of that, that's right. These areas that they're developing in are in the black community. Yeah, and they're now with calling no blacks it, working just, nowhere, right. and they now call it the opportunity zone. Exactly. So you get a and, tax break and in the to opportunity come over zone. Here. Obama set it up. Trump signed it into law, and a lot of the black millionaires and billionaires don't even know that this exists. Right. That they get a tax break. A 10 year deferred tax break, meaning that if they put 20 million dollars in exactly. my project, yeah, they get that money back in 10 years and some other, uh, but they benefits. also yeah. get a return on their investment, beautiful, so they don't lose, yeah, they mm. just put their money instead of putting it in a bank, I put it in a project that's helping my people, exactly, and I'm gonna get it back, exactly, whether that project work or not. Sure. My principle is protected. is protected and guaranteed, but it gives entities like ours an opportunity now to build in our community, build affordable housing, and then we can say what the cost of this house is going to mm-hmm. be, what the cost, and stop being greedy like the banks. You're taking a house come because you're building it in South Central that you say worth a million dollars. Well, who who determines that? Thank you. But that goes back to my that goes right. back to my point. The way we do business so, as black men in America is individualistic, yeah. which is why one of the, the key rules for doing business and being successful at it is don't be the only one in your crew balling. Mm. Right. Create opportunities for your homies or those will be the niggas that rob you. Right. <laughs> and, and see, and see, let me tell you. And oh, that's that's real. And see, look, yeah, that's, that's the thing Nipsey did, and I'm telling you, that's his right, murder right. is more than what we think it is. Come on, mm. come on, come on. I'll leave that alone. Mm. And and here's the kind of things that that brother was doing. He was this man got a nil a half a billion dollar redevelopment deal going down in South Central. Come mm-hmm. on, where he was going to be putting his own homies to work. It never materialized because now he's gone. You that's see? where we pick up the ball because but that's, that's, we, that's exactly where we're picking up the uh, ball because yeah. because see here there's three things the white man then teach us and this is what I love about what brother Corey said white man ain't my enemy the yellow man ain't my enemy my biggest enemy is ignorance right there Ooh. but you right don't there. know see but when I acquire knowledge wisdom understanding and how to apply it then ain't nobody in my way. Mm. So like he said, so when somebody putting a contract down in front of me and I'm reading it, you giving me everything in the first paragraph, but then you say, furthermore, here on two, that mm-hmm. means I erased all that. <laughs> That's, <laughs> right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Right. That's See? right. Yes. Are you on the yes. board of Destination Crenshaw? Hmm? Are you on the board of Destination Crenshaw? No. No, they're asking me to. I, I was doing a because I don't never know where the enemy is. I don't go among a lot of people anymore. That's the mistakes yes, sir. that I made. Hey, look at that. That's right. You know, right there. Reason. Yeah. Well, we're gonna talk right yeah. about that. that. Hey, you gotta get it. You gotta get on the mic, right. Corey, because we want to oh, hear that too. Shit. No, I'm saying what the brother right there just said 
was something kind. Now, he could tell me if I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that brother just said, I don't know who doing this shit. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not sure if I'm right, going to fuck with it. Right, right, right. Is that what you were right, saying? Right, that's right, that's right. what I thought he was saying. Yeah, Reza, Reza, get in here, man. See, this, this is why. Boy. No. Wise, boy. <laughs> And this, <laughs> and I know that's real. And, and you gotta be that way. No, and you you got you gotta be that way. And this is why we are taught that business is warfare. The moment you decide to go into business, you have declared war against this system, which benefits directly off of your degradation. You saying you gonna be a woke Negro now, and you wanna have your own business? What you're saying is, nigga, you are trying to take my money from me. Mm. That's number one What this system says You want to have your own money Well that means You are now going to be Competing with me For those who Are the ones who Endorse my products I get the majority Of my money from you And your people But you want to take your people And you want to rise Into the position That I'm in So now you want to be The master is what you're saying mm-hmm. So so what that means Is there has to be a slave And there has to be a master So you want me to be your slave This is how they think When it comes to business mm. Those who are in that position Of power and authority So that is exactly why These are those types of things That they did not teach us But as of right now Just like Brother Corey said One major key and as our brother minister said, the number one enemy is our ignorance. Number one, mm. period, of everything. Of everything. Everything. The right. more you do not know about something, the more you will be controlled by that something. If I the knew I was God, I would not try to kill God in the personage of my brother. Come on. Which is why your brother is your other self. How, how Which is about why the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad said whenever you see a black man, you see you are looking at God. He wasn't being blasphemed. He was saying the embodiment, the original physical house living is the melanated black original man. So when we are dealing with high science like that, yes. and we break it all the way down, the knowledge of self has to start from the bottom all the way up. But now, as Brother Corey said, integrity is something we have to have. Look and the that. main thing is, as Brother Bobby was saying, it hasn't been promoted enough. Right. The, the moment we push it more and promote sure. those images right. more, it will right. duplicate and it will inspire those of us in this generation to say, oh, it is possible. And, 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 and let me tell that. you. And yeah. he's, see, and if we took a corner of South Central, Bobby. Go ahead. Because, I mean, I, I, could, I could talk with the best of them, you know, make the black man sound great. Which is, I mean, no, don't get me wrong. Right. That's good. Right. But that millennial, he ain't hearing that. He ain't none of that. He want to see what you're that's saying. Right. That's, that's, that's right. right. Yeah. yeah. So I'm done talking. That's right. Mm-hmm. Come on. So now it's a matter of we take three blocks. We buy them. We build. They see it. New day. That's New it. day. You, see, you know what they're going to say? Shit. Nigga, that's the nation. I'm mm-hmm. not going to roll over yet. Even if he ain't in it, he's going to have some pride about that. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look at that hotel. Mm-hmm. That's right. Look at them brothers. You better not go over there. They don't play that. That's understood. That's right. <laughs> that's I don't, that's right. You can't fuck with them right. in front of me. On, that's right. how they be. That's right. how they be. Right. For real. Don't talk shit about For real. them. That's For the real. only thing real you know I know. What? You just, now, what did you do? You just brought him up. Uh, you you resurrected him. He was in apathy. He saw you do something. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? And it's, it's, it's awesome. It's like, wow, they got palm trees. Look at their buildings, mm-hmm. man. Yeah. You go, they got marble floors. Come on. Look at they women. See when they see you mm, building, mm. and they, they look at they women again. Right. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Thank you. They see you building. Mm. Then they go up the street and they see that's a car lot. We own it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Man, I ain't got good credit. That ain't that don't count. We don't use the white man system. Come mm. on. Mm. Mm. Speak on it. Is your word is your word bond, brother? Speak on it. Speak on it. The average lost brother. Who know he ain't right, don't even want to mess with the women who have been taught what they need to know. Right. Because right. they don't even look like the rest mm. of them. No. no. That's what I'm saying. No. The influence no. and the pedigree is important, dog. Right. Yeah. So when you do that, when you do that, now that man wants to know about your knowledge. Well, you know, um, See? that the element of the visual part, yeah. you couple that with the promotion of it. Uh, my uncle told me a long time ago, and I've seen it be true just by the fact that our president, well, the guy that's in the White House, he gets up every day. And has conditioned America to expect a lie from him to become the truth. And my uncle used to say, if you give a propaganda to the proper goose, <laughs> you're going to need a Brinks truck to take the money to the bank. <laughs> no, and, and, I mean, look, and Trump is good for black unity. Come on. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, 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 I'm not mad at Trump. I'm not mad. I like, look, I'm from Georgia. I like a cracker <laughs> that tells me he don't like me. I don't like a oh, face excuse smiling you. and you don't like me. Oh, right. That crack in the south, boy. I don't like you. Well, I don't like you either, cracker. Right. But I see, but I like that guy. Trump is showing you, brother. Yes. Trump is not look. 
Clinton was worse than Trump. Come on, Wait. Come on. He, wow. he did us rubbing us. Yeah. And Trump is in your face. I don't like you. Get out. I mean, brother. And, and let me tell you, and like you said, but this man, he got an army. Yeah, he, does. he got 80 million with him mm -hmm. right oh, now. And now, <laughs> but look, what you got to realize is what are they fighting for? Survival. They're fighting. Look, this. Look, the first law of nature is self-preservation. The white population growth is at zero. Right. Heather is looking at 50 Cent and the hip hoppers. Right, right. See, we're killing them with our gun called the penis. Come on. Ooh. Come on. Oh, so, so 2050, this America will be brown. It will not be white. The white man is falling. He's losing dominance. And that's what Trump is saying. I ain't mad at Trump. If they don't get it together and pull their women in, they're wiped out. Mm. That's it. Mm. it We're mm. going to have some more, uh, uh, what's some stuff, curries and <laughs> yes, sir. them kind of rubs. If, if I may say, I love, yeah. hey, I ain't going to lie. I have <laughs> taken their women. You know, when they get in the car, uh oh, they don't want to. They don't want to go to the club necessarily. They want to go. <laughs> they want to go get their opioids. Uh, <laughs> I actually stupid. feel proud dropping them off after they in their state. You feel like you helped us out. You know what? This is gonna be all right yes. in the long run. That's what I would say. Uh, <laughs> if evolution is terrible, man. Oh, he's he's terrible. Just, just, just straight wrong. I gotta sneak one of them, man. Yeah. Nah. Uh, Jeff Brown, get in here. If evolution is to be believed. If you if you to believe oh, yeah. that man evolves, oh, yeah. why do you think that now more than ever you see white women with big asses? Because the alpha male of the earth is attracted to that. Mm. All she trying to do is get her seed back home. Mm. They come from us. We don't come from them. Mm. They don't have a footprint on this earth older than fifteen thousand years. They don't. They're, they're, what is it? Sixty. 60. Six. Uh, a little, yeah, a little over six thousand years. Their footprint is much shorter than yours. They just trying to get back and don't understand. Why do you think it is? Why do you think it is? There is even an in sync or ninety eight degrees or a, a, a new kids on the block because they desperately want to see what they're supposed to be in white skin. But see, now it's time for tough love. Yes, sir. That has nothing to do with white folk. Yes. This is a council of men that have to call our young men, whether they're millennial, Gen X, uh, uh, baby boomer, Come whatever, on, man. It's a whatever call, generation. It's a call to arms. It is a call to action. Right. Stop being bitches. How about it? Stop being scary. How about that? Afraid to piss the white man off. Stop being aspirational, trying to motherfucking aim yourself towards a finish line in a game you didn't create. Stop that shit. First. First. Because if we're going to fucking learn how to respect each other, right? The first thing we got to do is become, watch this, what's the word they use when they motherfucking creating a society? What's that term they use? Social engineers. Yeah, social engineers, yeah. We got to become the, our own social engineers. Where are we we have a definition of God. Right. Where we got a definition of money. Get you on them negro think tanks. Where we do you understand Travis Bickle? Right? <laughs> we gotta be able to do that. We're yeah. not in control of our own fucking narrative. This is why so many black people stand up and applaud Jay-Z. For the NFL deal because the NFL is a brand and an aspiration that many of us want to achieve. But how many of us want to be an astrophysicist, a theoretical physicist, sure. a biochemical engineer? How many of us want to be that, a mathematician? How many of us want to be an astronaut? How many of us want to be a man that say what he do and do what he say? How about, how about that? that? Look, the basics, Corey. You just said something about the NFL and and and, and, a, and, and a new mindset that 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 is necessary right now. Yeah, the NFL as an uh, an entity creates an economy in and of itself. Right, there's somebody to come out there and sweep the sweep uh, sweep the seats off every week. There's somebody that supplies the toilet paper. You got a league where 75 percent of the product look like us. But the vendors to the NFL is is infinitesimally small. And I'm using that as an example to segue into the impact 
your show has had over the years. There's a brother named Ronnie Mill. He's a comedian and, and an entrepreneur in Atlanta. He called me a couple of months ago and said, Bobby, I've been watching you on Corey Holcomb's show, the Zoe show for years. I'm coming to L.A. I'd love to meet with you. Brother came, we, we went to lunch then, and he said, man, take me on the black tour. And I took him over to Vector 90 and some other spots. And he said, here's what I want to do. And he called me a couple of days ago and said, man, I want to create a sister city relationship because of some of the things that he's doing in Atlanta because you're a Georgia guy. Mm -hmm. And he's right about it. He said, there are some brothers and sisters in, in Georgia. You can do things which you can't do out here in, in California because the brothers that I hear, they don't work with brothers out here. But they got a, he got a little click he deal with in film and, and real estate and some other things. Long story short, we sitting on top of opportunities, and and these types of platforms are the feeding ground right. for action. Not just you know sitting here pontificating, right. but actually you know identifying things that we can specifically target our energy towards. You mean like Jay Z said, actionable items. But, but you know you know what, brother? NFL, look. The NFL is in, was in or is in some kind of trouble, Big trouble. that they're not telling us. Yes, sir. Well, That's one problem CTE. they got is the game you itself. See. Because when you start having elite players retire at 29, right. you got some issues. Right. Sums up. Yeah. Well, I mean, to take a brother like Jay-Z and whatever they doing, I'm saying something. When, the, it, when white folks don't need you for nothing, <laughs> <laughs> they're not calling you in. My right. thing is, like you were saying... What is it that they ain't telling him that they're about to use him for to get over on us? Mm. They did it with the Nets with him. He's sweet for the. He's sweet. That's why they call him. That one fool ago. Right. But see, but look, just like remember, bro, brother Magic, for instance. I have to be honest. Magic made us believe that he had this big deal with Starbucks, mm. TG Fridays. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Because they know the money is the black community. Mm -hmm. Or bigger than that. Man, we didn't give a damn about no oh, coffee. Hello. No. Magic and then, and then, then he get in, and next five years later, his name is being taken down. They the, did it with the Lakers. <laughs> he didn't have on, no bro. juice in there. He had 3%. But again, that was it. But again. And the reason he lied and act like he had some juice, because you know he's not a man of principle, because he likes men. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Well, there's that. Ooh, How about that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mansions what are you, what are you is live. Say? What are you going to say? No, I'm not. Well, what happened to your boy? Mm. Hey. Ooh. Okay. Back so... Let me just yeah, go ahead. Go I got to, I got yeah. to say something. Hold on. You see none of them yeah. people with my family reunion. I, didn't see see one. Fruit. I was looking for one. I was yeah. like, we got any fruit booties in there? <laughs> I ain't seen none. I think them people are strands that come from the other strands. Oh, okay. Hold on. Strands? Hold on one second. Oh, I, listen. <laughs> You're listening to Mansions <laughs> on VOR Radio. You we, we, on VOR Radio. We I got to just take a quick break after that point was made. We, we just got to. The Williams is. The clumsy chemist of VOR Radio. He's always dropping science. Lord have mercy. Hold on. Let, let me just say this, brothers. Let me just say this. We getting close to the end of the show, man. Let's 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 shorten our, our, our responses so we could get more of them in. And let's try to do a better job of not talking over each other because we all got some very powerful things to say. There's nearly 3,000 people in this chat room watching us live on YouTube right now. Now, Add so more to that. My, you understand? Yes, sir. So my whole thing is, I mean, can right we find a way to encourage, motivate, uplift, and give a better definition of unity, of cooperation, collaboration in our community? Because what I'm tired of seeing is brothers hating on brothers, brothers envious of brothers, brothers jealous of brothers. Fighting over a a a, a bobble. Go ahead. Yeah. That the devil gave you. Yeah. Wow. The devil gave you the dollar. The devil gave you your concept of wealth. Most niggas don't even know who Mansa Musa is. No. Go ahead. No. The devil gave you your concept of balling. Mm. Another thing, the devil. Can we can sure. we give them something that will break them up with these demonic beliefs? Jeff Brown. Uh, another thing that the devil gave you again, and I think uh, brother Abdul. Yes sir. yes, sir. Brother Abdul stepped on uh, 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 spoke spoke on <laughs> spoke on this earlier about 
what it is his system is uh, leaving a brother with when he leaves a skill money. You were led to believe that those things were in scarce supply when in actuality you were cut out of those things. You was kept away from those things. So your concept of what is possible, why you think is big to be the only nigga on the block, why you think is big to have a house that should be commonplace if all things were made equal. A system like this sets you up to have not something that was fantastic and out of your reach, but something you were supposed to have in the first goddamn place. And as a matter of fact, the only way to opulence is to make somebody else suffer. Mm. There is no billionaire without somebody starving, without somebody, mm. without just, somebody suffering from it's just business. Whenever you hear ooh, it's just business, man. somebody on lower on the rung just got fucked over. Got uh, uh, Jeff, yeah. I mean, uh, just a, uh, a, 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 a mindset alteration. If it's 3,000 people in that chat room and we want to develop a behavior that really begins to affect us in a positive way, if 50 people hit that like button, first of all, it ain't going to cost you nothing. A nickel. But they don't like hold, hold, us. Hold, 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 hold. We ain't going there right now. I'm just saying right now, as you hear my voice, if you watch this show, if 50 people hit that like button, we'll know that change is possible. Absolutely. Because it ain't going to cost you nothing, but it could affect change in all of our lives because we build momentum off of minor successes. 50 people before the show is over, hit that like button. We'll notice it. We'll be encouraged by it. We can build off of incremental successes. 50 wow. people. Well, I mean, for me, and you're right, Bobby, I mean, unity looked like this. You know, we, we have to reverse the Willie Lynch syndrome. Mm. Just totally go. reverse it, you know, and it's got to start with me first loving myself and me wanting to see a community where when I see my brother, I'm not looking at an enemy mm. about it. because I've been socially engineered to hate me, to hate my brother and to do to my brother what I won't do to other. I don't never see lowriders going in Brentwood hitting those switches. <laughs> They don't do that. Right. So if we change the dynamic and demean to me, that's why we need a village mm. or a town. China got one. Got Korea <laughs> got one. So here we are with a school. Now we're taking brothers out of prison. We're taking brothers off the streets. We have to have a man manufacturing plant. Mm. Ooh. To where you come to us any kind of way, but the final product is a productive man who's ready to raise a family. Yes, sir. Mm. 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 See mm. why? Because he now when he walks out that door, he don't see another black man out of his enemy. When mm. he walks out that door, he looks for a black business to go do business with. Mm. Right. Mm. See? And if one black businessman mess over him, he don't say, I'm done with black people. He right. find another brother Come on. to do business with. Mm. So I'm looking for the black Wakanda. Mm. Look at That's that. what black unity look like to me. Mm. Right. See, black yeah. unity look like to me now. People like Corey, why do we got to go to Hollywood to make a movie? On, we can on. pick up a camera, go to the hood. Man, I'm you right can there. cast the hood. Right come on. How about that? And, and with these devices, the whole world now is in our hands. Right mm. there. Right mm. there. And use modern technology. We don't need nobody. They need us. Mm. How about it? And so that's what black unity look like. I, mean, I don't care what your religion is. We got to stop religious banging. Look right. at that. Keep right. going. Right. Keep going. Right. Black has to be the religion. <laughs> you my brother. You my sister. Come on. See, see? see. that's my religion. I don't care what you call yourself. You my brother. Yes, sir. Oh, I love it. I love it. Corey, yeah. jump in here. Reason. The courage to 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 say this is something that was taught to me by this brother named Dre. Used to be a pimp named Gorgeous Dre. Yeah, yeah. Dre. Yeah, Gorgeous Dre, yeah. But the man dropped knowledge and um, yeah. you know what I'm saying? We evolved. Most of us, especially guys like me, and a lot of y'all can identify with me when you hear me talk, we grew up with only the knowledge that came from my mama. Mm. Ooh. Here we go. Come and on. this is why we kind of caddy. It's not to, knock, it. it's yeah, not to knock your mama. No, I'm right. sure she did the best job she could do. Here we but go. now you're grown, and you got this testosterone, right. but you got... 
Feminine you, conflict you, resolution. You, you learn feminine from, conflict resolution. Right. You <laughs> only learn from your mama. Yes. Wow. So then you get older, and you might be lucky like me, and somebody tell you that's all you know, sure. and then you realize, wow, I have a long way to go. When you getting into a conflict or or get mad at a brother where you feel like it's getting physical, I hope you heard this and I hope you remember what I told you. Most of your information is coming from a woman who did her best to raise you, but you need to know there's another side. And when you know that other side, uh, you probably can handle things better because the balance will come in your life. Yeah, but look, look at what Willie Lynch said. Willie Lynch said, in order to break the male, you have to use the female to break the male. Ooh, yep. He said, when, it, when a nigga female has another female, she is to make that female independent like her, but make her son dependent. God. See? Deep. Make him mentally weak, but physically strong. Castrate your mind. But make her daughter mentally strong but physically, physically weak. Well, she's already physically she's weak, weak vessel. and she is to believe that she don't need a man Ooh. physically so they, they ha- he said let's reverse it so you have in and you look at our community you have women taking the role of a man and men taking the role yes. of a woman uh, look at that uh, women are driving men around in my day we didn't do that we son. kept it pimping come on bro mm-hmm. no female drive my car come on mm-hmm. Mm. Man, these when I grew up, I didn't go over no female's house. I had to put them out of mine. <laughs> <laughs> but see, a lot of people don't understand what he's saying. But I know what he's saying. Yeah, right. saying. Right. You gonna be a man, right? right. Because right. at the end of the day, right. at the end of the day, yes, Lord. How you gonna how you gonna beat this woman? Jump on this woman that bought your socks, bought your drawers. Right. You living in her house. Ooh. Your you name ain't on nothing. You, you in like. her car. Minister, the city is full of baby boys. Yes. That's real. Yes. But I'm just saying. But again, it's by design. Right. And this is why, brother, this system is not designed for the bobbies of the world, for us no. to be out front. Right. Because they're totally feminizing the men now to the point, brother, where we're damn near almost done in. Come on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. I'm talking about bangers. I hear you. acting that way. Bro. Listen, yeah. well, Jay-Z get a lot of studio time with Frank Ocean. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I said it. It's the truth, though, right? Don't get mad at me for telling the truth. They spent all night in the studio. They spent all night in the studio. Am I right? I love this dude. Yo, get in here, Reza. Get in here, Reza. Come on, man. If Reza was in the studio with Frank Ocean, he'd have one of the brothers with him. Right, right, right. Do you hear what I'm saying, though? You know what I'm saying? I don't miss nothing, homie. I watch you. I'm like, oh, okay, that's what you do. No, no, that's real. But, and as you should, you're supposed to watch because you need to know exactly what you're dealing with. Us being masculine is one of the absolute panaceas or cure-alls for this condition. Wow. If we demonstrate masculinity unapologetically with humility and integrity, the people will be resurrected. They have to see strong black yes, manhood sir. with love for God, love for the woman, love for the children, love for a nation and family and our community. That's the that's the major way we'll do this. As you said, we have to have a level of sacrifice. Yeah. Can't be afraid of nothing no more. And that includes losing money. That includes losing, what, going to jail? I mean, come right. on. How many of us have, how many of our people have gone to jail already? Right. Okay, you so already know, nigga. You, you know, know Wednesday spaghetti night. Come on. That, when you <laughs> get money, you stop fearing losing. Exactly. You. When you get to when jail, you, you, you stop to fearing. Because you're not going home tonight. Right. Come on, look. Come on now. And that's and that's see and that's the difference with this. That's the beauty with this generation is we don't give a damn about nobody, including authority. We don't care. That's why the number one thing we need is guidance from those who have already made the mistakes so that we don't duplicate them. It's real simple. That's all we need is a guidance. Uh, Jeff Brown. Dear brothers, here's a masculinity plan. Those of you in the street, one, I don't call you gangs no more. That's unfair to you. You are only tribe. You're lost tribesmen who are now finding your way uh you want to you want to put some masculinity on the street do this get a few of y'all together and go to a liquor store pick one put some brothers outside and put the people on notice this particular liquor store if we catch you coming in or out after this you're mm-hmm. gonna have problems with us right and we starve this liquor store to death and when it is time to change hands we make it aware that 
whoever is going to own this needs to be black from this list. Because if they are anything other than that, if they come from anywhere other than this approved list of people who got money, people who got uh, means, people who have credit, who want this building, if they come from anywhere else, I promise you, the business will die. Should we do that with churches with the bullshit preachers? Oh, bro, bro, we need to start right there. Absolutely. We need to start right there. We need to start right there. We at each other's neck because of money. Sure. And when we go to a place, one of the only places where we find some type of spiritual reprieve only to be taken financial advantage of... That exacerbates the situation tenfold. We already stressed. But even in our place of worship, our pockets are being taken advantage of. And tell them your help is coming. Get ready, get ready. Should we do that with a woman who got more than two guys on child support cases? Absolutely. Ooh, keep coming with these questions. How about it? She is a she is a problem for the neighborhood. Right. If, if, if motherhood, if motherhood, just on, on about if single motherhood is an extremely hard job, is it safe to say that maybe there are some people who are shitty at it? It's a hard job, right? So that means somebody ain't doing it right. That list of people got niggas on child support. But niggas hate women too. Oh sure. A lot Everybody of hate bitches. It's just don't nobody say it. <laughs> They feel like you wrong. You have a, as soon as you see them, you do this. But it's that, that weakness in you want to have sex with them. But, but I you think, don't like them and respect them right. unless they are respectable. But th- then let's deal with that. Well, If we got brothers who never found the respectability molecule in their mama, they not going to find the respectability molecule in their baby mama. Mm-hmm. Are you moral if you had two... Or more abortions? Are you a moral Ooh. person? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is, or is it something that you just, you know, it, it don't hurt no more because that right. was 15, 20 years right. ago. But you murdered two of them. You, yeah, because inconven- they were socially <laughs> inconvenient. I mean, I asked that question. I'm not trying to be scandalous. I'm asking. Now, if you keep it, I got to pay for it. But you get to get rid of it. Now, yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. Chappelle said that, but I'm yeah. wondering. But look, I'm going to come back to this ultimate point. Niggas hating Niggas equal niggas killing niggas. Period. How are we going to end it? How are we going to make respect a part of our conflict management kit, our tool kit? Respect, consideration, integrity. Oh, there's another one that's really fucking big. Forgiveness. Can I step on your shoe and not mean it, brother? And mm. make it back home, man. That's that's big. Come on. Yeah. Can I come on. We, save the women? I'm gonna come to you, Bobby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really quickly. Go, uh, no, no. That was that was you. Brother. And then, yeah. Bobby. Well, well, see, brother, we got a glimpse of it. Yes, sir. I, I'm here to tell you all, brother. The the community, the brothers, they want to change. They want out. They're witness, yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. The question is, who are the examples? Right there. You know, when I grew up, my mother raised ten children. Mm-hmm. We were the only Literally. family on the yeah. block that had a one mother raising all them children. Come so on. everybody on the block, their father was my example. Wow. Wow. Oh. Mm-hmm. See? Wow. So there were alpha males in my vicinity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can see, look right at it. See? Yes. So now it's like the homies. You know, I went to college. So I bring some of the fraternity brothers to the homies. I said, look, brother, you're a doctor, but don't come in there. With the spirit of looking down on these brothers Ooh, like you better than them. That's right. Tell them. That's you better right. tell them. I said, let me, that's I said, right. I said, I said let, me, let me decode you. Yes. 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 <laughs> and de And de you. Right. 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 You can't go in there with, hi, how are you? Right. Mm. Right. You know, and so what I'm, what, what, here's what I'm saying, brother. Our community is ready. Two years ago, 3,000 gang members, Brother Reza was there, yes, showed up. When brothers, unarmed black men was being murdered. Yes, sir. The brothers was ready to go to war with the police. This is true. 3,000 mm. came together and true. said, brother, but he came to our mosque. I mean, 3,000. Bobby, we asked him what's needed and wanted, brothers. Number one thing they said, peace among each other. Mm-hmm. 
We don't know how to broker it. That's what they said. Mm -hmm. That's what they said. See? Number two, they said education. Mm -hmm. Guess what was three? Jobs. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Peace was one. Knowledge was two. Mm -hmm. Jobs was three. Mm -hmm. Sir. It's got to be somebody we trust that can broker this peace that ain't going to let us go back in the other direction. Right. So we developed a United Hood Nation, my Brother Bobby. Mm -hmm. And in the United Hood Nation, there's 1,500 gangs in Los Angeles. 548 came to the table, have signed a, a, a peace agreement, meaning that these 500 neighborhoods won't beef with each other. And just like the United Nations in New York, we call it the United Hood Nations, where they come together every three months. Mm. Still to this day. And anybody that's breaking the peace, 500 and some hood is against your one hood. That's right. Look at that. Ethics. Justice. See? Okay. Yeah. Because but so now when a shooting take place, instead of you getting in your field and automatically thinking them niggas did it, could have been the police. Right. Mm. We Thank made you. them adapt our way of life in the nation, investigate first. That's right. Mm. And be careful when an unrighteous man brings you negative mm. news. Mm. Check the homie that brings you negative news. Ooh. He could have went and did something that he didn't tell y'all. <laughs> like you were saying. See, Let's so I'm me. just saying, brother, they are ready. But the scriptures say, how would they know? Mm. Except they have a teacher. Mm. Mm. And how would they have a teacher unless someone sent? The best of our people don't even live in the damn hood, man. Mm. They won't even come in the hood. So how do brothers know how to be a doctor when the doctor won't pull in the hood with his Bentley? Maybe I'll consider being a doctor. You got a Bentley nigga being a doctor? Look right. at that. You got a Bentley being an astronaut? Never mm. heard about that. So to me, brother, it, it's gonna take a village. Yes. yes. And, and I don't and I don't ask Hollywood. I said, brother, I'm yes. front line. Just get behind the infantry. How mm. about right. that? And then slowly we'll bring them to you. Yes. Look at that. That's how we do it. That's one method. Want to close Let me real just quickly. Bobby, can't, we can't lead people if you can't feed people. What this brother's talking about is feeding people. And that's what we need to concentrate on with respect to who we illuminate. Come on. And it's important that we don't let Nipsey die in vain. We, right. we draw from his, his image, from his likeness, and his example. Well, there it is. Listen, we don't have all the answers, but we damn sure know how to start it. We know how to start the discussion. This discussion should go out across the nation. Everybody should sit down and talk about what we're talking about. Finding ways to resolve conflict. Finding ways to work together. Build together. Finding ways to re find something to respect about yourself. How about that? Start and, there. And we'll bring some of the homies to your show to prove these brothers are pulling it together. Yes. And we're going to support them. As long as they do good, we're going to support them. That's right. Love it. Love it. Love it. Uh, Reza, where can they find you, good brother? Yes, everything is under Reza Islam, R-I-Z-Z-A, last name Islam, I-S-L-A-N. Message to the Millennials drops this week. Oh, wow. This week, go to RezaIslam.com and click uh, order Message to the Millennials. And also, if you'd like to book me for any speaking engagements whatsoever, book Reza at RezaIslam.com. Where you at next, Big C? Hey, what's up? We going down to Oakland this week. We going to rock Tommy T's out. And uh, all over the nation, though, you might see me dropping off some chicken at her house around you. So, uh, Y'all <laughs> pray for me at that yeah, pull off. pray for you. <laughs> Tony, excuse me, well, Abdul Malik Muhammad, yeah, minister. Yeah, well, of course, every Sunday you can come and hear me teach at Muhammad's Mosque, number 27. That's 8701 South Vermont Avenue. Um, I don't know all of these Instagram stuff like Brother Reza just ran off. I have one, but I don't know how to work it. But this Sunday, I'll be in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, I've been called into Phoenix to resolve some conflict over there in Phoenix, See? Arizona, as well as Chicago. I mean, gang members from Philly. But this Sunday, I'll be in Phoenix, man. And we, we once we get L.A. together... We're going to Chicago next. Yes. There you go. Uh, Jeff, you got anything? Uh, you, you, I, I defer, we got 30 seconds. I defer it to say this. The same way that the energy of West Coast rap went from California East and South, may what Brother, do, what brother Abdul was doing do the same. Jeff, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, Bobby. Uh, just Google Bobby Glanton Smith. You'll see what you see. All right. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. We out first night crazy. Yes, yes, yes. Deuces. Dope. Damn.
Thank you all for hitting that super chat button as hard as y'all did. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Zoe Williams, voice of reason, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Everybody hit that super chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.